Welcome to the Opus OP4 Packdown video, where we'll show you the simple process from beginning to end. This video features one person doing the packdown of the camper. However, having an assistant makes for easier packdown. So remember, when using an assistant, be mindful of where they are during any procedure so as not to cause accidental injury. The first step in packing down your OP4 camper starts in the interior with the lounge. Here we have the folding table, the three base cushions, the two side cushions, the two corner cushions and the rear back cushion. The travel position of your interior will look like this. The table is folded and slid into place. The rear back cushion is placed on top of the table. The two corner cushions are placed on the floor and the two side cushions are placed on the bench seat. Ensure your cushions are as flat as possible and below the edge of your camper body. This will help when folding the lids in a moment. Before exiting, remember to open the shut-off valve located just near the door, as this will allow easy inflation of the tent the next time you use your OP4. Make your way outside and unclip the canvas door of your OP4. Lift the foldable stairs and secure into position by using the camper keys. Remember to close the plastic flaps on the locks, as this will keep dust from getting into your locks when towing. Next step, walk around your OP4. Unfasten the canvas from the corners and unhook the elastic straps attached to the camper. Move to the side of your camper and open all five air valves. As the air beams begin to deflate, assist by pushing the canvas inward. This will help the canvas pack down into the optimal position in your camper. Now move around your OP4 and start to flatten out the canvas. For those with an annex attached, please refer to our video on packing down your annex for further information on this step. It's important the canvas is tucked away from the edges, as this will allow the lid to close tightly against the seals. In order for your OP4 to close properly, you'll need to start the pack down from the rear of the camper. Remove locking pins from the rear lid support poles. Keep one hand holding the pole as you remove the locking pin. Then gently rest the pole on the ground. Ensure the locking pins go back through the hole. Repeat this process on the other side. Fold the rear lid over. The gas struts will make moving the lid easy, but always assist the lid and don't allow it to just drop when in the downward position. Ensure the canvas is clear of the sides and hinge as this will make the lid close much easier. Secure the lid shut with the two lid latches. Again, tuck in any loose canvas that may be caught between the seals. Make sure nobody else pushes the lid down whilst you're tucking in loose canvas as this may trap fingers or cause personal injury. Move to the opposite side of your OP4 and do the same. Move around the front lid of your OP4 and tuck in any canvas hanging over the sides. Then head to the front and release the two front lid latches. Fold the front lid over. The canvas may naturally start to hang over the edge of the OP4 body during this process, so allow the lid to rest in a slightly open position and continue to tuck the canvas inside the camper. Pull the lid down and secure with latch. If you're having trouble lowering the lid, use your arm along the length of the lid to aid in lowering the lid far enough 
to get the latch on. Move to the other side of your OP4 and secure the remaining two latches. Whilst on this side, remove the locking pins holding the roof cage in the vertical position and carefully lower the roof cage into the travel position. And secure the roof cage on the other side using the latches. Lastly, secure the roof cage with the locking pins you removed earlier. Now head to the rear of your OP4 and place the bed support poles into position. Then lift the spare wheel and secure with the locking pins. Gather the latch pins from the control panel compartments and move around the OP4 and secure all the latches with the pins. Use the winder handle and raise all four stabiliser legs and lock them into the travel position. You can use a cordless power drill with the correct attachment to raise the legs. It is recommended that you leave the wheel chocks in place until your OP4 is connected to your vehicle. Once that's done, then remove the wheel chock or chocks and store them in your OP4, ready for use next time. Lastly, head to the control panel and turn off the power buttons. If you want to keep the fridge running whilst travelling, leave the main power on. But remember, this will drain the battery if left on for longer periods of time without a charging input. Congratulations! Your Opus OP4 is now fully packed down and ready to travel to your next destination.